Hi guys, so uh, today I'm going to show you another experiment that is easy to do at home and it will have a really cool effect. So uh, what you're going to basically need uh, a glass uh, glass jar a glass jar uh, with a lid and uh, why do you need a lid? Because it the vinegar essence really stinks. Okay. <laughs> it smells I can feel really that. bad. Okay. Uh, so, uh, and you're gonna need an egg, and as you may, might see in there, the vinegar essence is uh, it's the chemical process of the vinegar essence pretty much eating up the eggshell. Uh, so, uh, it will stay in there for about a day, and uh, it will be bouncy, and the shell will be gone when we take it out. Uh, we will keep it in the fridge, but uh, if you want to trick somebody, uh, you can just have it wherever you want to. Uh, but where they won't find it is the best place. Uh, so uh, I will come back in a day or two, but for you it's just a few seconds. Oh, uh, we are also going to do it with uh, some chicken bones. Uh, the same thing, it will uh, stay in there for a few more days uh, to make the pros so they're really bounce and good so just keep it in the fridge or somewhere else you can decide yourselves hi guys so uh, we're back after uh, about three days uh, we uh, let the vinegar essence experiments just sit in the corner <laughs> <laughs> now uh, the egg will only need one day for uh, a result and uh, chicken bones will need two days, but uh, just to make sure that we will get a good result, we have let it uh, sit for about three days. Uh, so, anyways, let's try it out. How does this smell now? Does it smell better than before? Uh, no, actually, it smells worse. I just get the water out first. <coughs> It smells like uh, the egg smells like egg fart together with uh, uh, vinegar <laughs> essence, which means it basically stinks. So uh, as you might see, uh, basically looks like a normal egg, uh, but it doesn't have a shell now, and it's all bouncing and stuff. <laughs> and uh, if you want to trick somebody, just put it in a uh, normal egg holder and uh, tell them that uh, you already peeled it Peeled it for them. Uh, does this work? Does, does any anybody fall for this joke, really? Yeah, no I've actually fallen for it myself. <laughs> uh, even though I, it uh, was my uh, dad that uh, did this on me, but I was actually with him. Uh, putting it in the vinegar essence and then putting it in the fridge, so I I still got tricked. <laughs> the day after, yeah, it's a, it was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm gonna get a spoon just to okay. show you the bounces. Egg. So, Not better. Oh. As you might see, it's very cool. Bouncy. Let's uh, let's look at the chicken bones. I want yeah. to see if you can crack them or if they are if the experiment works. Uh, this one actually doesn't smell as much. <coughs> doesn't <laughs> smell as much as. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just uh, uh, cold. Um. So uh, let's check. Oh, cool. Yeah, they're all. Rubbery. Yeah, exactly. Um, the middle is still a little intact, in like the middle of the middle, uh, but uh, they're really rubbery. Otherwise, Look, yeah, <laughs> looks just like a normal but one, but uh, chicken rubber bones. Yeah, exactly. So if you want to trick somebody, you can just. Do this with a lot of uh, chicken bones, I guess, and uh, just tell a friend that uh, you bought a chicken from the store, uh, chicken meat, 
and uh, just tell him uh, that you just ate a rubber chicken <laughs> and maybe something like that. So uh, it's really easy to do at home this experiment. Uh, just some vinegar essence and chicken bones and egg. Uh, let the egg sit for uh, about a day, the chicken bones for about two days. If you want to make sure you get a good result, let them sit a little longer. Anyways, that's it for this episode guys. Uh, over and out.